In this video traders, we're gonna look at how setting alerts can play a really key part in your trading. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so alerts are a super key part of my specific trading plan, and I think they should and could play a big role in yours too. So let me explain what I mean. So first of all, before we carry on, I just wanna say this video is sponsored by Core Spreads, our channel sponsor. Go and check them out in the description below. We're gonna look at their platform in a moment and use the alerts on their platform. Otherwise, the video is about setting alerts and how you can potentially use it in your trading plan. So there's a distinct difference, right, between a limit order and an alert. If you think, you want something to happen when the market gets to a level. So the market gets to a level, a limit order just fires off automatically. It's basically saying, I want into the market at this level. An alert is a little bit different. It's saying, okay, I'm interested in looking at what the conditions are when the market gets to this level. So the advantage of that is number one, obviously you don't have to be glued in front of the screen all day long. Number two, if you're out and about, don't be checking your phone all the time to see what the levels are you can plan much more methodically, more logically, more professionally. You can say, okay, well, maybe, for example, for today, for me, maybe I'm not too interested in getting involved right now. However, if the market gets to this level or this level, you can have two levels, three, multiple levels, one or multiple levels, then I'm interested to see when it got there, how it got there, and some intro and some other information that I use, you know, based on the price action. So I don't want to get involved, I don't want to have a sell order in there or buy order or buy stop or whatever it may be, but I want to look because that level would be interesting to me. So it's kind of not as committing as a limit order, but it's a little bit, you know, back and it helps you then able to go out and do other stuff, whether you're doing working on your trading a journal, whether you're working on setups, whether you're doing something completely different. It means that you know that you are going to be alerted, funnily enough to the price when the market gets there. So then you can go to the screens, we can bring up your mobile, your tablet, whatever, and assess what you need to assess. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna go to the screens, we'll have a look at kind of the process, perhaps that we'd go to the thought process of why we'd place an alert, where we'd place it, and then we'll look at the core spreads platform to check out how we can do that on their platform. Let's go to the screens now. All right, guys, so I have up for you the core spreads platform. Now I've got a demo and I've got a live account. Um, just to point out, guys, that you can't set alerts for whatever reason on the demo account. It doesn't work. You've got to be on a live account for the alerts to work. So it's just one thing to bear in mind. All right, so we're on a live account here. Uh, and let's say, for example, I want to look at the Dow, which core spreads uh, Dow is basically the Wall Street 30. So it's, it's their synthetic Dow, but it's close enough for uh, what we want and what you would trade is if you were trading uh, you wanted some exposure to the Dow. So uh, the nice thing about these charts, actually, uh, I think I've said it before, is you can pop them into a new browser tab so they can go full screen. So I don't need to be able to trade from the charts. So I can get rid of that. I can probably get rid of this channel as well. I'm not interested in that. Uh, what have I got? I've got a 15 minute chart. Let me zoom it out a little bit to see where we are. Okay, so let's say, for example, now I wanted, I was looking at this chart and I said, okay, well, I'm not interested here. Um, you know, but if we maybe forget to another 100 points high, let's say 27,150, maybe I'd look for an exhaustion move um, or maybe I'd say, okay, well, if we dip down back under 27,000, you know, maybe that's a time to kind of get long. And what I can do here is look at this high and go, right, what's that high there? Oh, okay, look at my tool tip, it's 26,980. So I could perhaps go, right, I wanna set some alerts for 26,980, I'd, I'd jot these down uh, and I'd go for 27, uh, 150 say. So now I go back to my platform, make sure I'm on the live account. And the easy thing to do here guys is the bell icon, pretty obvious it's gonna be the bell icon, right? Click the bell icon and we get an alert um, pop-up box here basically looks like it looks like similar to the ticket so we want to say okay well the level is going to be 27 uh, what was it 150 on the down make sure on the thing and it's a sell alert so make sure actually just make sure we punch that in before so after we've clicked sell uh, so that's going to alert us when the price gets to 27 150 on the sell set alert bang and it gives us the market name just and just basically gives us a kind of confirmation as if it were the ticket. Um, now what we also want to do guys is we want a buy alert and we'd said we want that at 26,980. So we'll hit that, set the alert and there we are, we're done. And we can check these alerts in this my alert section here. So you can amend it or you can see the actual market you're at, you can see the level, buy or sell, time you set the alert, 
the trigger price, trigger time, status, and we can amend it as well if we want to adjust it and say you know, a little bit different, 2087, a little bit higher say, we can amend it or we can remove it completely. Um, and that will then alert us as the price gets to that level. So you can see that it's actually pretty powerful because it's powerful that means we don't have to be stuck in front of the screens. That's the big one because yes, there's an obvious, obvious thing of being stuck in front of the screens and wasting our time and something's not going on. But if you're a day trader guys, you know what it's like when it's, when it's boring and there's nothing going on, the temptation to trade is huge. So alerts can actually make you money or stop you losing money, I mean, you're basically improving your bottom line. It's a simple thing to do. It means you're not tempted to trade. You know, listen, these are the levels I want to be look at the market. Even then you're not saying I definitely want to trade, but I want to look at the market at that level. I'm interested, you know, it might be interesting. I want to see what's happened, how it's got there, uh, what all the parameters are, and maybe make a decision from that, what time the alert set off. So right at the end of the day, maybe I'm not interested. If it's early in the morning, we'll get a low in the morning and I've been looking for that kind of thing, maybe I'm interested. So, and, and also you can set it on markets that may be something that you're not particularly zo zoomed in on. So for example, you could say, well, well you know what, oil Oil's interesting at the moment, but it's not my main market. Let me set an alert for if it goes really crazy, because then maybe I don't want to trade off that alert level, but what it would do is it says, hey, something's happening in oil, maybe it's time to focus on it, come up with a plan of action, etc., etc., etc. So that's another way of using it, is you just bracket um, some of the key markets you watch for like volatility brackets, if you like. So extreme moves up, extreme moves down, set your alerts in. You can go into the core spreads platform and amend those each day. So you've got a kind of bracket of X ATRs. So you know that if the market that you're not particularly watching does that, brings it to your attention, you go, right, well, is there a trade opportunity here? There is volatility, I thrive on volatility. Look to, uh, you know, plan, formulate a plan around that and then potentially highlights opportunity that you otherwise would have missed. So guys, alerts, underrated, very easy to do, very easy to set up, very easy to implement in your trading plan. And that was setting the alerts on the Core Spreads trading platform, which by the way, sponsoring the channel, sponsoring this video, go and check them out, link in the description below if you're interested in tight spreads for spread betting and CFDs. All right guys, take care, see you next one, bye-bye.